let's talk about dating a fitness influencer while being overweight while I do my skincare. I feel like this is a topic that is brought up not so much in Tyler's comments, but a lot in his lives. I address it every time in his lives, but I'm gonna go ahead and address it in a video as well. For 99% of the lives in Tyler's community, it is all support. It is very rare for someone to come in and say something like, your girlfriend's fat, or you promote health and fitness, but you're dating someone who's overweight. It happens. I mean, yeah, that makes a lot of sense, dude. You guys are on the complete opposite realm of whatever this is. Especially if this dude is doing it professionally, it would only make sense that he would be dating somebody that is also within that realm because the incompatibility on that particular front is really jarring to see, especially if somebody is like prioritizing this as a not only life goal, but a profession as well. So I can see why this might be an issue. And then I also think, I don't even think it's plausible for people to be dating online in a public format because it just adds so much stress upon the relationship. And it also kind of like now you almost kind of have to maintain the relationship and show off the good stuff, the good stuff of your relationship. And if you ever break up, which more than likely you're going to break up because I think it's something like most relationships end. I mean, it, that's how it is. Like you, you're not going to be with somebody for you know most people date for like a year or two years and then they break up until they find that person eventually where they stay with forever but until then most relationships fail so more than likely i'm not saying that this one will but a high probability that it will so if you have to go through all your past social medias and if you do social media professionally um now you have to scrub through potentially i don't know how long these people have been dating but you have to scrub through potentially years of content and just delete it or maybe don't delete it and just leave it up and then people like watch your old stuff and go hey how come you're not dating this person anymore and it's like really weird to explain because that video is from like seven months ago and now you guys are broken up so it's like really awkward so there's that um but when when we're talking about being overweight and then dating a fitness influencer you would think that if somebody okay being a fitness influencer doesn't actually always mean that that person is really deeply into fitness. The amount of people that I've seen that are actually fitness influencers that have just looked the way that they do because they look the way that they do is astonishing. I've seen it copious amounts of times. The amount of like women that I've seen promoting like, oh, this is how you do certain exercises and I'm watching them do exercises and it's astonishing. It's like, oh yeah, how to grow a giant butt cheeks, do cardio for 20 minutes. Oh, really? That's that. Wow. It's so good. You're just you're doing so well. This is great. And then you look at the comments and they're all disabled. A lot of people look the way that they do through practices that they've achieved. And then they'll try to say, like, if you want a body like mine, this is what you got to do. This is how to get my body. And then you're just looking at this guy like, bro, you know that this is unattainable. Like you're probably sucking on some trembolone to attain this body anyway. So there's that. And then also, um, like, I'm not saying that this guy that she's dating is not, like, a total, like, gym bro or guy that knows what he's talking about. But oftentimes, um, a lot of those people are liars, facades, an illusion, not accurate. There's that. Um, but you would expect that if you are dating somebody that has knowledgeable experience when it comes to working on yourself, muscle building, uh, fitness, and, and, and even dietary function, which is literally most of what being a fitness influencer is or being somebody that is very, very built – it's almost all about diet. You can't live, you can't grow muscle if you don't know how to properly nu nutrition wise balance yourself. So there's that. Um, if you're dating somebody like that and you're fat as fuck, that is crazy. Does he not care about you? Like, is he not saying anything to you? Is he just a bitch? Is he just like, okay with the fact that you're very overweight and doesn't want to say anything to you because he's afraid that it might start a conflict and that might be an issue that you guys now have to talk about? I don't know. Like, what is it? Please let me know because why? Why is that, bro? Being like, girlfriend's fat or you promote health and fitness but you're dating someone who's overweight it happens Sometimes it is it is a little bit of a contradiction yeah it's 100 percent because like if you're gonna if you're gonna promote health and fitness to the wider array of humanity but the person that you're with which is like the person you should care about the most with the exception of your parents obviously and depending on how far along in your relationship might actually be the person you care about the most you would think that if you care about all these people's fitnesses why don't you care about this person's fitness that is actually a really good point Sometimes it's a lot of trolls just trying to get a reaction on me. But I will say there is nothing you can say to me that I haven't said right in front of the mirror. Right. So, like, are you going to actually address why you're dating a guy that's, like, really in-depth into fitness and he cares more about other people's fitness than yours? Or just, like, don't want to talk about that stuff? I feel like that's a fundamental mis mis miscommunication there. I am overweight. It's not hard to look at me and know that. I have known that for a while. But I have been doing what I need to do to change that and be healthier. Weight loss is not an overnight thing. I can't- Oh, uh, as long as you're losing weight, it's fine. Like, that's okay. I see no issue with that. It's fine, as long as you're losing weight. If people are just trolling you online, it is what it is, as long as you know. Like, 
I don't know why so many people feel the need to address certain things because sometimes like if you're doing it yourself, you making a video about it is only going to like make people think that you're more insecure about it. If that makes any sense. Like if you're sitting here and you're like, I don't really care. That's fine. You don't really care. Like I know a lot of people call me gay, right? I'm never going to make a video addressing like, oh no guys, I'm really not gay. I've never really sucked male penises before. I've never done that. I've never indulged in the art of male fellatio with my mouth. I've never done that. I'm not gay. My anal cavity is bleached. Um, virgin, I'm, 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 you know, like there's, there's nothing you can say to me. I don't care what anybody says. I love women. Vaginal crevices are my favorites. The pleasure of women is essential for my daily, uh, habits. Like there, I, you know, I could say all that stuff, but deep down, I don't really care if people think that I do or do not suckle and suck a tash upon a man's fa uh, phallus. Cause I don't really put a lot of value in it. I don't, you know, it is what it is. If you guys think I'm gay, I'm gay or whatever. It don't, it, like, it doesn't matter to me, but um, like the point I'm making is like, if I did make that video, I feel like it would just draw more attention to it. And, uh, it's like a Streisand effect almost. I don't know. Like, it's like this, right? It's like, you're, you're making a video on this. Like, why are you making a video about this? If you know that this is something you're working on already, like maybe it's to address the haters and stuff like that. But oftentimes I find that when you do stuff, stuff like this, it just makes it worse. In a calorie deficit one day and wake up and be skinny the next yeah nobody expects that though like if you're just responding to trolls dude they're just gonna say unreasonable shit just to piss you off so granted skinny isn't you know the indicator of good health but point being tyler is not it's not a, okay it's it's not an indicator of good health but it's a better indicator of good health compared to being overweight or fat dating me for my body tyler yeah yeah okay yeah sure you're not dating somebody for their body but it's it's pretty ignorant to assume that that person does is not going to have an issue with the fact that you're fat, right? I don't know why so many people say that. Like, yes, it is very important. You know, I've dated really attractive women before, and I know a lot of people. Like, I remember I was dating a girl, and do, women and men would compliment her on a daily basis. And they would call her pretty, gorgeous, amazing, go go like godly, almost kind of like they would just completely ignore me. Like, I would be with her, and women would stop, like, oh my god, you're so pretty, oh my god, you're so gorgeous, you're so gorgeous. And uh, guys sometimes would be like, damn, you are so beautiful, you're so beautiful. And I'm just sitting there like, bro, I'm like, I'm right here, you know, like, <laughs> compliment me, you know, like, I'm, I'm not pretty, but I get it. But for me, I didn't really care. Like, for me, I don't really put a lot of value, it's like, great that you look attractive, but why you know like i don't care personally it's never been a big incentivizing factor for me like obviously i care that you are attractive enough for me to date but like i'm not really one of those people that like puts people on pedestals for something that they really didn't do anything about like i treasure you more for the things that you've attained or like the things that you've accomplished rather than like oh yeah you look really cool and don't get me wrong like it's good that you are naturally beauty and you have ways to accentuate those things and that's awesome like you have skincare routines maybe you have like acne patches maybe you wear spe specialized deodorant maybe you have you know there's like a whole bunch of things like teeth whitening gel i don't fucking know there's a whole bunch of stuff that i feel like people should be a comp uh, complimented more on rather than just physical you know the way somebody looks and uh don't get me wrong like you should want to be with somebody that is physically beautiful to you which is great but um I don't think it should be the be all end all. So I'm, I'm with her on that. Tyler might tell me I'm beautiful. Tyler thinks I'm beautiful. And I suck at that too, by the way. I know this is like not a video about me, but the amount of times I like have been with somebody and they go, oh, you're just not affectionate. Like you just don't like, you know, you just like, you don't like really, like really hug or like you don't really kiss or you're like, you don't really tell me I'm beautiful. Or you don't really tell me this. Like I get more compliments from these people than I do you. And I'm just like, well, yeah, fucking, of course I think you're beautiful. Like, what? I've been dating you for, like, four years. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, yeah, of course I think you're fucking beautiful. Like, I don't touch you because, like, I don't know, dude. Sometimes I think it's kind of gross um, that you have stuff in your teeth. And when you touch my mouth with your mouth, I get a little bit icked from that. Or, like, you're really sweaty right now, so I don't really feel that. Like, sometimes I don't even feel the need to, like, be compatible with another person. Like, sometimes I just kind of, like, like my own space. And I know that, like, that's not the best because, like, girls like to cuddle and shit like that, the gay stuff. And I don't know. I'm not really for that. Like, I have, like a, I have to really force myself to do that stuff. I don't know. Anyway. That is not why him and I started dating. And I didn't start dating Tyler because he's a fitness creator and I want to help losing weight. I have been on my fitness journey, I would say, twice seriously in the last five years. It, I think it's really weird that when I see... I see a lot of girls doing, like, videos and stuff like this on TikTok and they're doing face care. I think it's so weird, dude. Are they doing makeup? Why is it always like that? The first time was in 2019 after I finished chemo. And I was really strict on it. I was losing weight rapidly, but I was also borderline starving myself. Just so everyone knows, I'm 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, GG on uh, beating that cancer. I was eating 1,200 calories. That is too steep of a deficit for someone of my height and for just starting out. So yeah, I lost 13 pounds in two weeks. 
but I was literally eating like a meal a day and that's it. I think it's a very strange association to put a limit on Tyler to only date someone who has a great body, who is skinny, who is the picture of health. I often find uh, big insecurities when women are not seen as the number one like attractive person in a relationship. And you can let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about that, but I see it a lot because in our new modern age that we have right now, I've seen a lot of guys that are way attractive, like dudes that are fucking pretty beyond belief. And I often see women just being threatened by that, like they, that they're dating a guy that's like literally a 10 in any other circumstance and stuff like that. And I'm not saying he's a 10. I'm just saying in general, like uh, I see a lot of women being insecure about the fact that the, the guy that they're dating is prettier than them. And I always think like, um, isn't it better to be the prettier one in the relationship if you're a girl since like that's primarily what you're going to be judged for already? Like for me, for instance, I know that I'm not the prettier one. Like if I ever date somebody nine times out of ten, I'm never going to be prettier than them unless I'm like dating Danny DeVito or something like that. And even he, he's probably hotter than me. So like I don't know. I don't like I, maybe you guys can give me some context down below. I'm like really interested in this topic. Um, who, what is better like? to be the woman and be less attractive in the relationship or be the man and less attractive in the relationship. My idea on that one is like dudes are already not even really judged based off physical shape. So it's like, we don't really have many standards. Whereas women, it's like hyper emphasized. Tyler knows my goals. Tyler knows I'm trying to do better. He's a human. <laughs> he is a human outside of his content creation, outside of his health and fitness videos. He's a human being who wanted a partner. And so for people to look at him and go, oh, your girlfriend's fat. Oh, you're dating someone who's overweight. He knows I'm trying to do better and be better. And That's great, dude. But it's a valid criticism. I mean, it's obvious, too. Like, what the fuck, dude? That's like being a librarian and having children that are illiterate. Like, what are you doing, man? How the fuck? How did you get like that? So while I apologize if you're expecting me to be skinny overnight, it's also just not realistic. As long as you're working towards it, it's fine. Like, I don't care. Like, I, I, You know, honestly speaking, like, it's fine if he wants to date somebody that's a little bit overweight or fatter. That's fine. It is a little bit hip, a little bit of a, a hypocrisy in order for somebody to be that, you know, a health and fitness influencer and then date somebody that's overweight. It's a little bit crazy. Like, what the fuck is going on there? But I don't really care. Let me know what you guys think down below, though. I'm doing everything I can. I'm in a calorie deficit. I'm going to the gym five days a week. I think my biggest fear was when we first started dating is him getting those comments because I didn't want him to feel like I was bringing him a bad image. Or you guys shouldn't have just... You, you guys should have just like kept it private. I, I this I always feel this, dude. Just make your relationships private for the most part. I get it. Like it's cool to post your girlfriend or boyfriend, but if you're in a circumstance like this where you guys are like big social media influencers, I don't think it's much value to it at all. Well, he is my coach. He's my coach. He's my partner. He is my best friend. If you expect only any sort of content creator to date someone of the content they promote that is the picture of whatever they're promoting and doing videos on, please consider that they are human beings and there are people behind the screens. And for people who always come into like the lives and say something to me about being overweight, you're telling me something I already know. <laughs> But I'm doing everything I can to better myself and better my health and just live a happier, longer life. And cool. So GG on that. I give her credit for that. Totally. 100%. Like, lose weight, become better. Great. So for you to sit there and talk poorly to me when I'm doing everything I can to better that, maybe you need to do some self-reflecting. I find it- uh, It is what it is. It's the internet, dude. And you know what I love about, like, people that do, like, live streaming is, like, sometimes I'll get really upset when somebody, like, when you're live streaming and somebody says the same question, like, 50 times, and then the person that is the live streamer will get upset because they have to keep answering the same questions over and over and over again and i always think like these are new people like these are obviously people that are coming in for the first time that maybe never even seen you or heard about you ever obviously they're going to ask you different questions and the, potentially most of those questions will be the same thing because a lot of people have like the same questions right it's the same thing here like if you're doing internet content and you're getting new people you know how many people have asked me about the maple syrup behind me a lot that's all right keep asking me about the maple syrup i'm i, I love answering about the maple syrup i love ask i love answering whether or not i'm a homosexual man it's fine it's okay and i understand like you don't like it but that's the literal entire intention of these people is like they're trying to get into your skin they want to make it uncomfortable for you be grateful for one thing and that is dating while currently being fat because let's talk about it. So I always have felt like it was a hindrance to date while being fat. And I have kind of had this thought process before, but not too in depth. And after watching this video, um, this girl makes a really, really good point. It is a hindrance, by the way, to date while fat. You're literally negating like the majority of the dating market because most people are not willing to date somebody that's overweight. Is if a man dates you when 
and I, I don't know how to word this properly, but essentially like I have no problem with fat people. I am fat. So, uh, but society in general has a problem with fat people as we all know. So if a man dates you, what I, I just like, I'm sorry to say this, dude. I don't know what she means by society because it's such a ambiguous term. She could mean society in its very, very general statement, which is the sense of like infrastructure, um, I guess population. But like, I wouldn't really need to know what she means by that because if you're upset that stairs exist or because that would be, that would be in, that would be like society. Or I guess like in general, people don't want to be fat. Therefore, it's like systemically oppressed. Like, I guess, sure, but, like, it, you do realize that the reason why the majority of people don't want to be fat is because it's actually a health complication. Like, you know it's not a good thing, right? Like, that's like somebody saying, like, oh, cancer is systemically discriminated against. Yeah, no fucking shit. Yeah, it's like murder is just, you know, systemically discriminated against. Like, obvious fucking Lee, dude. Like, what, what are you fucking talking about, dude? Yes, obviously. General has a problem with fat people, as we all know. So if a man dates you while society already has a problem with your body, uh, you know that if you ever lost weight, that man, not always, but that man probably will still be there. I see what you're saying. Like, he's willing to put up with you while you're busted. So when you get better looking, it's almost kind of like he was not there for the looks to begin with, which is really sad, by the way, because like... The underlying thing, what you're actually saying here, what this leads to, is that he never thought you were attractive, or, <laughs> or maybe his standards were so low that he just really didn't care. Like, I guess, I mean, sure, like, if that's really who you want to date, or, like, that's how you want to judge this shit, sure, like, it's awesome, you know, it's so great that you dated a guy that, like, just date, you know, like, he, he didn't really have a lot of standards, and he just chose you because he was bored, or, I, I guess, sure. Whereas, like, if you are, you know, society there, there i mean there's there's always an upside to everything i guess like such a weird way of looking at it dude and i guess she's gonna say like the alternative is like if you're already beautiful and he leaves you it's a little bit more like it makes a little bit more sense because you were beautiful before and then you started gaining weight therefore it's like he's less secure which i don't think that you're a worse person by the way for that because if you're dating okay if you're dating somebody and you like the, how they look, physically speaking, and they decide to gain weight, okay? Um, with the exception of, like, childbirth and all this other shit, right? Like, okay, I get that. But, like, all, if they start gaining weight, and that's not something you like, naturally, you're going to be unattracted to them because you, you were attracted to them when they were thinner, right? So it's going to be a little bit more of an issue when you're a fatter person. Am I wrong? Standard is still be there. Whereas, like, if you are, you know, society's standard of beauty, size, skinny, whatever, and you were to gain weight, well, you don't know how that man would act in that situation. Probably would leave you, which is not an incentivization for that person to be not a good person. That just means that they find you unattractive compared to what, they, what you were. And that doesn't mean you're bad. That just means that you find whatever you find attractive. And if that person becomes unattractive to you in whatever, whatever realm that is, that doesn't mean you stick around because you're like, I know there are people out there that say love is unconditional and I kind of agree with that to a certain degree, but you have to at least understand that that doesn't, that doesn't like mean that you could just abuse that other person. That doesn't mean that you could just take that other person and go, mm, even, I know he won't leave me. I know this person won't leave me. So let me just fuck up. Let me just do a ton of bad stuff because I know he's not going to leave me, which is basically what I'm getting from this. She's basically saying like, you don't know if the, if the, if the guy is going to leave if you gain weight. That's not a bad thing. That should actually be a good thing because that means that person's holding you for a very high standard to, so you can be attractive for that person. And by the way, you should want to be attractive to the person that you're dating. That should be an incentivization. So like if you're dating somebody and they go, hey, I like the way you wear those crop tops, it's okay to buy more of those crop tops. If the person that you're dating says, hey, I really like the way you wear your hair, it's okay to wear your hair more like that way. It's not a good idea to sit there and go, well... Let me just gain like 50 pounds and see what happens, even though my boyfriend or girlfriend had told me before that they actually think I'm more attractive when I'm thinner. Why would you Why would you do that? Like what you're actually doing is like you're straining the relationship on purpose. And then she does this like smug look as if she said anything of value at all. You're not a bad person and don't feel like you're, you're supposed to stay in a relationship that's literally like the other person is just fucking with you, which is basically what that is. Like I get it, people gain weight over time, but if you're doing it literally on purpose, which is literally gaining weight, um, and you're expecting the other person to stay with you because that's how it should be, nah, suck me off, that's crazy. And you were to gain weight, 
Well, you don't know how that man would act in that situation. It's such a cope. It's such a fucking cope, bro. Because she's easy, like what she's actually saying is like, I actually have it better, even though I'm unhealthy and my man that I'm dating probably doesn't even really care about me because I'm dating a dude that literally has no problem with me being fat at all. So if I do get better looking, I know he, I'm just getting better looking in general, which is literally a diss upon yourself. So it's, a, it's such a cope. So this video, I think, like really shed some light on that situation and i've always kind of looked at it as like oh it's such a hindrance it's so much it's so much harder to date while being a bigger girl it is it, it is 100 percent a harder time to date while you are fat that's a factual statement you are literally negating the majority of people in dating markets because most people are not going to be attracted to you and i say people not women not men i'm saying people in general they're not attracted to people that are fat there's little to no value on that but at the end of the day, I think everything happens for a reason. I guess, I guess everything happens for a reason. Therefore, you could just literally take away all accountability from yourself. I hate when people say this shit. If everything happens for a reason, that just basically means that you're not going to take accountability. That just basically means that you're just going to coast with your life. Because ultimately, you don't control your own shit. So, no, I disagree. If you want to become thinner and you want to become more attractive, you can do that. If you want to be better looking for your boyfriend or girlfriend, you can do that. There, don't try to like make the relationship harder just because you think it'd be cool to do that or because the person that you're with is not going to leave you. That's terrible. Do not do that. Absolutely terrible advice, bro. And being a bigger girl in my life, I don't want to cry. Being a bigger girl. Um, Why are you going to cry? Why? What the fuck? Is this an emotional video? Why is this emotional for you? What the fuck? What are we doing right now, dude? She literally said she was about to cry. Girl, in my life, I don't want to cry. Being a bigger girl, um, for me, I don't know why I'm getting emotional with this. Yeah, she's she because she knows she's saying literal hogwash here. Like, <laughs> that's literally what she's saying right now. It's like a clo a deeply closeted gay man trying to convince you that he's actually not gay. No, man, I totally love vagina. Female genitalia is my favorite. I love the sensation of a woman's orgasm upon my tongue. I could never, I could never place my lips upon a man's phallus and, uh, hold up, my bad. My mouth was just watering when I was talking about that. Uh, yeah, no, not not the penis, not the penis part. My bad. The uh, what were we talking about again? I, uh, I lost my train of thought after I brought up the penis. I, just, what were we saying again? Hey, you want to let me see a dick real quick? That's basically what I'm hearing here. Like, why are you getting so emotional over this shit? Could it could, could it be that you're actually you actually know the truth, and you saying this out loud is actually like affecting you because you know that you're actually saying bullshit? Girl, um, for me, I don't know why I'm getting emotional with this. Uh. For me, has shown me people's true character way sooner than others may see. You, you, you don't think you're a bad person because you're attracted to somebody's physical shape. That's not that's not that's not bad. You're fine. You can find people attractive. What this person is actually saying is like I'm busted. I'm ugly. And if a man dates me, I know I'm secure because if he's dating me at this size, I know he'll date me at a lower size because I'm already busted to begin with. That's a crazy ass fucking thing to say. By the way, that doesn't always work either because there are plenty of guys out there that are solely dating you because you got the double belly and you got that big back behavior. He want to watch you swallow down like seven times portion sizes because he finds that hot and attractive. He's going to like beat off in the corner while you fart on cakes. Like these, these dudes do exist. Okay. There are, there are plenty of guys out there that are only with you because they find you attractive for your weight. Because people, men, especially men, <laughs> a lot of men. You're only saying this because you don't date women, dude. I, I, I'm, I gotta say it, dude, okay? I know that a lot of dudes out there are really disgusting and a lot of dudes really do think with their penises, but I hate when people can't see it from the other side. And I'm not saying like I can solely a lot of the times, but I think I got a lot of like, oh, I think I got a lot of context on both sides. And I hate it when people go, men, 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 men. You only say that because you're you're not dating women, dude. Women are fucking terrible as well, okay? Women are bad and men are bad, okay? Dude, we're equally bad. We're just bad in different places. Are incredibly disrespectful towards women that they don't find attractive. Women are too, bro. Have you ever, like... Dude, okay, first of all, bro. This is such a crazy-ass claim, dude. Okay, I know a lot of people think that women are, like, really, really, like sensitive creatures that don't say anything bad dude i've literally been shut down by women that uh liked me on bumble like i remember literally being on bumble and a girl 
uh, sent me the message first, and then I replied, and I was like, hey, what's going on? And then she literally called me ugly, like, right after that. And I'm just thinking, like, bro, you had to hit me up. Like, I don't even know. Like, you do realize this is an app for women to hit. Like, I can't even believe that you would like me and then hit me with that bullshit. Like, I've had that happen to me a few times, which is fine. Uh, women are not, like, really, really, like, deified creatures that are never going to be guilty of something. And they're, they're going to say mean things, too. It's okay, though, because that's how it is. I'm not saying that men don't say mean shit. They obviously do. Um, but, like, it's it's just crazy when somebody, says, when somebody goes, men, men do this, men do this. I'm not saying men don't. But I think we got to look at it within, like, stop looking at it within the vacuum. A lot of men are incredibly disrespectful towards women that they don't find attractive. Uh, and especially fat women. So what, what do they say to you, though? Can you give us an example? Because I have had to deal with that my whole life. What the fuck are you talking about? You had to deal with that your whole life and you never thought of like not dealing with that. You do realize you could have just never been in the classification to get bullied for your weight if you just weren't that weight. You know that, right? That'd be like me getting bullied for being a black guy. Like, I'm obviously not black, so it doesn't apply. So you wouldn't get bullied for being fat if you weren't fat. You understand that, right? So, like, I understand what you're saying in the sense of, like, oh, yeah, I've been getting bullied for this, so I have the context, and, like, it's really terrible and all this other stuff. Why are you still getting bullied for it? Like, why are you not leaving the category of big, fat, beautiful woman or whatever you call them? I... I'm a very, very, very good judge of character. And not- I, I doubt it, dude. I really doubt it, man. I hate when people say that shit. I'm a good judge of character. That I, I don't know how people can really even discern that type of stuff, man. I mean, I think you could probably judge somebody's character when they start saying stuff. Like, when you start getting a little bit more context. But I hate when people just go like, oh, yeah, I can immediately tell what kind of person this is. Or, like, how they judge or how they talk and things like that. Like, people are very, very dynamic. And... Just simply saying, like, I'm a very good judge of character because men have treated you badly in the past because you're fat as fuck is not – it should not just be an indicator that you now know how to, like, you know, men a knees or whatever you want to call it. I am a very, very, very good judge of character. I also want to point out that she was literally crying. Like, she was on the brink of tears, like, 20 seconds ago. And not just with men and with people in general, but that's also, I think, due to the fact that I'm on the autism spectrum and I pick up on things. She's on the what? general but that's also i think due to the fact that i'm on the autism spectrum i think people that have mental illnesses try to use mental illness as like a superpower when i don't think that i think anybody that actually has mental illness will tell you that it's not a superpower like it's crazy the amount of times i see people say this shit like oh i have add and so it's like you know even though it's like literally a chemical imbalance in my brain it's like really good because like i can really focus all night and you know like I, I can do multiple things and like I'm, I'm good in conversation and stuff like that when in reality it's like you know you you went to school and you just couldn't focus on your homework for for like a two hour stretch instead you're just watching star wars for nine hours or maybe you were playing like call of duty nazi zombies all night like the point of making is like these people will sit there and they're very quick to say that they have like oh like my mental illness is a superpower because you could judge somebody basic like this i think it's bullshit i think these people are actually coping really fucking hard with their mental illnesses if they have them um and i think that there's a lot of value in right now becoming a victim and one of the best ways to become a victim is saying that you have some kind of mental disorder or some kind of like mental condition or whatever and i don't think that's i don't think it's really much of a flex dude i think it's like a disservice to anybody that actually does have the disease or illnesses and i pick up on things really quickly but i have always kind of looked at it as a hindrance but this girl kind of gave me a it is a hindrance give her a perspective of like no one, by the way one video gave her perspective on that <laughs> one video gave her different perspective she's overthinking she's thinking over her entire life because she saw one video and suddenly she's changed the way that she thought honey that doesn't mean how the fuck are you going to tell me you're quick to pick up on stuff and you're telling me you watched one video and now you're changing your entire ideology based off of whether or not it was a good idea to be fat while dating, even though you have the evidence to prove that it's not a good idea, but you saw one video. So I guess the entire way you think about stuff is completely changed. What, what are you fucking talking about, dude? What the hell? No, like, you're going to find someone who is truly into you and there for you, you know, there for you. Bro, this woman is cope hard, bro. What the fuck? This woman is literally telling us like she has problems with dating 
she saw one video where somebody said no it's fine because if you're fat you'll actually get the real guys or whatever the fuck and now she's rethinking her entire life off of a, like a two minute tiktok which is crazy as fuck bro she's rethinking her entire life over this shit it's like some pure sneako shit right here and the cope is hard bro the cope is real fucking hard the, you know forget about the autism spectrum this shit right here is the real mental fucking illness right here someone who is truly into you and there for you you know and by the way like the, the idea that you will find somebody that's truly into you and you're truly into them it's not a good idea and it's never gonna fucking work because you know how unlikely it is for somebody to like the majority of things about you really unlikely now stack on somebody that likes exactly everything about you and then stack on that they like everything about you what the fuck are you talking about have you ever dated anyone in your entire life ever there are lots of complications with people and just because you don't see them at the surface doesn't mean they're not below there are plenty of reasons not to like somebody that's not to say that you can't like continue to date them it's just things that you have to adjust and in, in contour to a little bit so yes you will find somebody that does like those things all together, but like that person is not somebody you should be with because that person is probably very, very down bad and has little to no options, which is not somebody I want to date. I want to date somebody that has a lot of options. I want to date. I want to, I don't want to be somebody's only option. I want to be somebody's fucking like all their options. And then they chose me out of all the options. I'm not, you know, I want to feel special. I don't want to be like the only person. So if you're sitting here proclaiming that it's a good idea to be fat because you have like better closure or like you have more knowledge on whether or not and then you also end it with but you will find somebody that likes you exactly the way you are even though you made it to like what 33 and you've never had any fucking any of that shit actually happen to you and now your entire life has changed based off of one tiktok video from some bullshit ass creator saying literal nothing okay sure sure bro keep living your life like that bro you're doing well there for you and not just how who is truly into you and there for you, you know, there for you and not just how your body looks to society. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Massive cope, dude. Massive cope. You should not want to be with somebody like that. That is terrible as fuck, bro. Because like if that person, there's no way you're getting both of those things. They like you exactly the way you are and you like them exactly the way they are. Fuck no. If somebody likes you and you have all these poor character traits, 100%, that person is busted. That person is probably like Danny DeVito fused with like, I don't even know, like a cockroach, like a fucking fusion dance for that shit. It's, it's not somebody you want to be with, like a gut hanging out type dude. Y'all had brought up a s amusement parks and that is something that is a little bit of a problem for us slash me. My husband loves novelty and amusement parks fall under that category. I always love parks, but walking for long periods of time is hard. And the fear of being turned away from a ride for me not fitting correctly is high. I see people having compatibility issues quite a bit when it comes to dating. And a lot of this stuff could be alleviated. Like, okay, if you have like a, okay, this, this applies to like most people in relationships. If you're a woman and you date a guy, most likely that guy's probably playing games right he's probably enjoying video games and you maybe don't like that right that's okay you can have that miscompatibility that's fine but you know you can't deal with if you're dating somebody and you like walking and they don't like walking that's a fucking problem because that just means now you can't do like anything or you're dating somebody that doesn't like leaving the house well suddenly if you're somebody that likes leaving the house you're not going to be able to do anything with that person like it's like the amber lynn effect where becky was trying to do so much stuff even basic stuff like going to the grocery store and buying food or like going to a bowling alley or simply taking a walk down the street are things that you just cannot do and because your person that you're with is so monstrously overweight that it's just not plausible and the same thing here if you're so fat that your husband likes to go on i don't know like amusement parks which is fine i guess um, and he wants to ride rides and you just physically are not able to fit into the seats or you're not able to walk long distances that require you to go from one end of the park to the next to keep doing those things. It's just not, you can't do that. That relationship is heavily strained. That relationship is heavily fucking strained. Oh, I was winded before we even got into the park. That's crazy, bro. You were winded in the parking lot? that's crazy bro you gotta lose some fucking weight at that point what the fuck is your husband doing does he not acknowledge that you have these issues these glaring issues does he not acknowledge that like you go up to the front to get your tickets and he's you're just 
Does he not see that? Does he not acknowledge that to be an issue at all? No, no, all right, I guess. Because the trans weren't in use. I chose to wait outside while everyone went on Space Mountain because the carts are cramped and too low to the ground for my comfort. I completely bowed out of the second park because I was too tired and had blisters. Crazy. I told my husband to go without me. He made sure I was okay with it before going. It was really awkward. Yeah, no shit, dude. You're literally telling your husband to go do shit without you when he probably wants to do shit with you, but he literally physically cannot do those things with you because you're too fat. You're literally getting winded before you even enter the park. It made it a little more uncomfortable since I was the only lady in a normal setting that would have been fine, but it felt weird now that I needed to be active and keep so just lose some weight like that's really the solution a address your to your husband like hey i'm done with being fat i know this has been an issue for you i know we have a miscompatibility when it comes to me walking i want to be better i want to be healthier uh i'm gonna do this for our relationship and that, that that will be the end of it i don't know what you're getting from sending a dm to two overweight women over the internet i don't know keep up with them You are never going to find your love if you're fat. Now, I don't think that, but you do. You've been trying to convince yourself it doesn't matter if you're 10 pounds overweight, but it does to you. And so you're not dating and you're not going to find your love. You've tried, but it's not like you're 20 anymore. Things are not moving. The weight is sticking. And so you don't think it's possible to change. But As you get older, it becomes harder and harder to lose weight. That's why I always tell people and encourage people to lose weight at the younger they are. Any younger, by the way, if you're like 35 or you're 45 or you're 65, it's always more beneficial to lose the weight ASAP than it is to lose the weight in 10 years. It's just that way because your body does it. It loses a lot of its durability. It loses a lot of its elasticity. It loses a lot of its bounce back. So... Yes, you do need to lose it earlier. And plus, like, you're literally negating illnesses and effects that you would have gotten if you just kept if you kept that weight on, but you're not you're not keeping the weight on. So it is probably it is 100 percent better to lose the weight earlier. But if you knew that you could lose that forever weight, you would date, you'd meet your husband quickly, and you'd have the life, the body, and the love that you wanted. So let's get that figured out first, shall we? Would you date someone? Uh I guess. Like I guess that yeah, sure, bro. Do you Get that all that shit figured out, I guess. Plus size. How big? Like a little thicker than you? Or? Sure, sure. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, I don't know, dude. I don't know how I feel about like asking people like, would you date a plus size girl? And the guy go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we talking about somebody like your size, a little bit bigger than you? Like, cause at that point they're like putting you into that shit, bro. I don't know, man. I would be a little bit creeped out by yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Hundred percent, I would. Hundred yeah? percent. Yeah. I think that there's a little bit of like when I see people get asked these questions on the street. I always think let's let's ask these people when they're when there's not a plus size person with a microphone in their face. You know what I'm saying? That's like a black guy asking a whole bunch of white people, "Yo, man, is it okay to say the N word?" And every white dude is going to say no. But if you put a Ku Klux Klan member there and he goes, "Hey, man, you think it's okay for white people to say the N word?" Maybe those white dudes might be a little bit more inclined to say the N word, right? Same thing here. Like obviously if you're a fat girl and you're asking guys you know, is it okay to, would you date a fat girl? Naturally, they're not going to want to make you feel fucking bad about yourself since you yourself are the fat girl. So yeah, they're probably going to be a little bit more modest. They're probably going to be a little bit more, you know, nice in their responses. So, I mean, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say, but I would be concerned about this. It's not like, they, I don't think their answers are going to be genuine. Yes, for sure. Right, I, love yeah. big, I love thick women. I, I can't do no skinny girls, bro. No, why is that? Th thick girls my whole life. I, I like them. It's not even a real reason, dude. Like, oh, yeah, man, I, don't, I only like thick girls for real, dog. I only like thick girls. Oh, yeah, why? I just can't do it, man. I need thick girls. It's not a reason. It's not a fucking reason, dude. Like I'm big, like I'm brown. Yeah, 100%. I have mean, you dated someone big? I have. It's awesome. Was she my size? What do you mean it's awesome? What do you mean, like the chicken grease underneath the armpits? What do you, what's awesome about it? Yeah, there ain't nothing wrong with dating a girl who's plus size. It just a mat. It's like, okay, look. If you're like 10 pounds over, fine. If you're like 15 pounds over, all right, right? But once you start getting 20, 30, 40 pounds over, dude, what are we doing right now? That's you're, you're you're really straining the relationship at that point, dude. Like, there's gonna be some major problems as you start getting up there on the weight. And I know there are gonna be people out there that go, "I love big women and this and that." Like, that's fine. I'm happy for you. But most people are not trying to deal with that. 
Like, I, I, I definitely agree. You know, I would Let's definitely like, do it. Okay. If you falling off a cliff, what you gonna hang on to? <laughs> hey, you're right. Yeah, fair point. Uh, first of all, she ain't even gonna. What do you mean fair point? If you're falling off a cliff, there's not even gonna be a fat woman anywhere near you because she fucking ran out of breath before the first treat. Like, that bitch is literally still in the fucking parking lot with her, her fucking husband that she's complaining about. Like, what are you talking about? She's not even on a cliff. What are you talking about? What is even this claim, bro? Why is the game here? No, bro. If you're on a cliff and there's somebody that's trying to help you up, I want my very in shape girlfriend to help me lift me out of the fucking whatever the, the mountain thing is. You're not going to get a fat girl to help you. That that woman's back in the parking lot. She's not even there. Girl, if you were a skinny girl and you falling off a cliff, what you going to hang on to? Her? What you talking about, dude? A skinny, I'm gonna grab onto the skinny girl. The fat girl's not even there. Needs you a thick girl, bro. Yeah, I, hey, it's not a branch. And then December, and November, when it's cold, what you gonna hang mm -hmm. on to? Dude, what are you talking about, bro? I hate this claim, like, damn, when it's colder out, you need a big girl because they warmer. What the fuck, dude? I, I'm sorry, I, I, when I date a woman, I don't want her to identify as a fucking, a, a, a furnace? What are you talking about? I, I'm dating a person, not a fucking furnace. Why does it matter that she's going to be a little hotter in the winter time? I don't give a fuck. What the hell are you talking about? When you're dating somebody, are you like, oh, here are the list of things I need for my woman. Has to have good credit. Has to have good job. Must be warm in winter. Have good driving skills. What are you talking about? When have you ever heard somebody say, I date big bitches because they're, cause they, they're warmer than skinnier ones? What are you fucking talking about, bro? Exactly. Mm -hmm. hey, you're talking about hibernation, right? Overall thing is everybody needs some love. There's no, you know, over plus size or like skinny girl. Like it's just all like. Yeah, fucking jo Joseph Gordon Levitt right here, dude. Attractive. It's all love. What about you? You're quiet. <laughs> I'ma take my horse. <laughs> Would you date someone plus size? If she ain't 280, she ain't a lady. Damn, dude, get the fuck out of my face. All right, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it. Uh, sorry, if you watched today's video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in cheetah because there was a cheetah pillow behind me at the very beginning of this video, but now it's dissipated. It's gone. It's gone with the wind. So write down cheetah or do a cheetah emoji. I think there's a cheetah emoji down there. So you can go ahead and put that there. And by the way, speaking of cheetah, ah, oh, your metabolism is moving so fast. You're burning so many calories. You're doing so well for yourself. You're making yourself more anabolic. You're making yourself more hydrated. You're really taking care of yourself, and that's something I can really stand behind. And that, I mean, physically too. Like, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, right there, Aunt Jemima. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, all that stuff will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.